What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today we're going over ALF Zero or A Zero, which is up 7.6% at 89 cents. We did briefly touch, I believe, 93 cents today, which we did here. Yeah, 93.9 cents on news of this tweet right here. So we just met, it's about Telecom Web3. We just met with Piotr from ALF Zero. He introduced us into the tech stack and gave insight on some use cases. What a great ecosystem. So people are speculating that. Alef Zero and Telecom, aka T-Mobile, and stuff like that, are starting to, starting to partner together. And as soon as this uh, dropped on Alef Zero, um, this the price just started this price just started shooting up like crazy. Uh, I was watching it while at work today. I was just going up, up, and up. And you know, also nice to meet you, Dennis from the A Zero ID team. So just a lot of good interaction going on here. This is actually pretty large news if it comes to be true. But just being known or shouted out by telecom in general is just extremely bullish my personal opinion so hopefully this is a partnership in the making and they continue cooking and we'll see what a zero is about ready to bring so with that let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on a zero All right, we're on the three day chart here for ALF Zero. We'll actually go to the day chart so we have a little bit more information. So we're gonna to go to the day chart here in ALF Zero. And this is what we were keeping a close eye on was this descending wedge for ALF Zero here. And we actually broke out of it. We broke out of it briefly. I believe I charted it yesterday or the day before and I said, hey, we need a confirmation. We got our confirmation all right. We ran all the way up to that 93. Now this candle just started two minutes ago. Right here, it's a little red candle right now. So pretty curious to see where that takes us. An interesting thing, if we draw our fib from the top to the bottom right here, uh, if we draw the main fib, what we're seeing is resistance here at the 236 in the large fib. If we go from the wick top to the wick bottom, our next resistance is sitting here to run that 236 at around 90 cents. I was thinking we were going to touch a dollar today. I was a, too, a little too optimistic because of the pump, but still just coming up back up to this 236 here from this large fib top is bullish in itself. So I'd be keeping an eye, you know, on that 90 cents a zero day chart, man. Even though we rallied today, the indicators are still looking fantastic. Look, we got good engulfing candles happening here on the MACD. We had that buy signal on the 7th of September. For ALF zero, it just took a while, and now we started that rally up there. WTX just got over the zero mark. We have a ton of room we can run, and ALF zero does like going to that overbought territory, as you can see here with the multiple sell signals once it gets up there. RSI. RSI normally, once we break above 57, if I draw a horizontal line here at around 50, what did I say, 57? Around 57, you can see we, this is where we either top out or if when we break this level, we go up to around, you know, 76 and beyond. You know, this is a normal area we've been topping out. We broke through that. Yeah, we briefly went above it here September 9th, 2022 and September, or November 2nd, 2022, but we're already above those peaks as well. So every time we've gone over this general level, we've gone up to at least 76 on the RSI. So we still have a lot of room we could potentially go here on the RSI, which is approximately, you know, another 22% move here on the RSI. And who knows if they still, if they keep on dropping hints or whatnot about this A of zero possible partnership. Now it's not for sure yet, but it's rumors. Uh, this thing could, you know, rally to that overbought area. So we're going to be keeping you guys updated on that as well. So let's get into the price now on the day chart. Get out of here. So what we're keeping in a close eye on here is the two, three, six on the, on the longer term time frame. If we drop our fib down a little bit to the next, oh shoot to the next high what we're going to see here is the 382 cent around that 97 so that dollar is going to be a very very difficult area to overtake you know it was a very difficult era area to fall below but once we fell below it, we tried to get back over it multiple multiple times we just consolidated between this 236 and 382 area so just being in this general area now i think we're going to be seeing most likely consolidations to the upper 90s to the to the mid 80s now uh for a of zero something like this we're finally back up into this general consolidation area and we'll probably be knocking on the dollar's door here in the next week or so so i'd be keeping a close eye on that if we get over a dollar man i, I hope you guys have your bags packed we've been covering a of zero like crazy um super i'm super bullish on a of zero if you've been a part of my discord whatsoever you know a lot of people in there like the project as well so i think inevitably in the next week or so we're going to be working up to around that dollar range but it, that is going to be the make or break for a of zero are we going to expel all our energy all our you know the rest of our energy to the overbought territory trying to get over that dollar or are we just going to continue this consolidation allow the indicators to calm down and then rally up to 
the 618. So we'll just have to see here. Um, this is a confirmed breakout. So we did officially have a uh, trend reversal from February of 2023. So we had our trend reversal. We're above the 236 area on the four hour. You can see how we're just laddering up here. We were get, we were knocking on that downtrend's door right here. We broke above it, back tested it, consolidated on it. Huge run up here. Now, most likely, I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked if we went back down to like 86, 87, tested 236 out, and we can start this nice ladder up effect up to around the 97s to test that dollar range out for the first time. I think we're gonna be testing that dollar out pretty soon. Not saying we're gonna get over it on the first attempt. I just think we're gonna be nearing those upper 90s here in the next week or two. So keep an eye on that. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on any of my social media links. Those links are below in the description.